Uh, this is the video from this morning. Just want, want you to see what happens uh, about the second or third stroke when we fall down to bow side and the boat literally stops. There. Okay, now it takes a while to get going again. Now let's slow it down. Now, just here. If we don't have enough rock over right through the boat. And then it's not too bad. Now Jess, I want you to have just a look here what happens. That's your back angle. There. Can you see how much the shoulders lift? there. Now at that point your arms are bent and your knees aren't quite on the deck but your shoulders are definitely um, behind your knees. If you look at Helen's arms they're still straight so she's hanging on and driving much more with the legs. Joe, you've got a little bit of bend in your arm. So what we want to watch is that we don't take the weight up on our arms. We just want to drive the seat forward and hang on the handle and really stretch the lats. And there's that tap out timing. Let's have a look at it here. That wasn't too bad on that occasion. Just got to try and get that a bit better. Now Jess, you can see we've got to get a bit better set up with our angles. You're just a bit behind the others there. It's a little too much race into the front and you can definitely see we're short. Now, look at where our hands are finishing. Our hands should all be finishing a little bit closer to the body. There we are. Now, elbows are out but they could be out further and they could be through the body a bit more. Really open the chest up, squeeze the shoulder blades together. We're losing length at the back and at the front. another roll to one side that stopped the boat. Yep, just not long enough strokes there. Too much rush into the front. Got to cruise into the front a bit more. The last um, push we did of the morning was so much better.